Hey guys, this is Tiffany and today I'm going to teach you how to make a proper PPF patch for your map. People will only need to patch using the PPF, which means that they won't need to use Shishi. First, you need a clean image of FFD to compare your patches. Personally, I always keep one stored in a 7-zip archive. Every time I'm not sure if my FFT image was edited in some way, I just grab a new one. It barely takes 20 seconds and seriously, this can save you a lot of trouble. Now, I understand why you end up asking people to restructure their FFT image using Shishi. Because when you try to make a patch using PPF Studio, you get this error. Files are not equal in size. This normally happens when you use a newer version of Shishi. Now, a lot of you people think it's alright to ask people to restructure using Shishi and then patch for the PPF. Well, that's just wrong to me. Not everyone has a 50 patcher in the first place. And remember, .NET programs only work on Windows unless you emulate Windows. Thankfully, there is an easy way to bypass this. What we're going to do is simply make the file size match. To do so, we will patch the vanilla image with 00, 0 bytes until it matches the size of the modified image. Now, we'll check the file size in the files properties for each image and find out the difference. What you want is the size, not the size on disk. Just using the Windows calculator, calculate the difference And we have 11 million bytes, which is roughly 10 megabytes, which makes sense. Now, just grab your favorite X editor. I don't know how you would do it in other editors, but in WinX, it's very simple. So I'm just going to load my vanilla image, go at the end of the file, edit, paste zero bytes, append at the end of the file, yes, and type in the amount of bytes I want to add. Okay, now the undo command will not be available, blah blah blah, okay. Now simply save, And now you should be able to create a patch correctly. If you can, you can see here that the file size is matched, so there should be absolutely no problem. And here it's creating the PPF file. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.